everyone, this is Christina with Two Howling Monkeys, and for today's video, I am going to show you the difference between these two scissor sharpeners. And if you're a sewer, uh, you're going to want a good pair of scissors, and the way to do that is have a good scissor sharpener. So first off, I'm going to start with this one here. This is just your basic uh, handheld scissor sharpener that's been around for many years. And it's one that I used for many years. I am a, a sewer who sews just about every day. I have a business, so I sew every day, all day long. And when my scissors would get dull, I would use these. And I went through so many of these because I do so much sewing. And it just got to be a little crazy. So that's when I uh, looked for another type of scissor sharpener. This is my just old junky um, pair of crafting scissors. So they are a little dull, so I'm going to try and sharpen them. How you sharpen your scissors is you don't put in like this, uh, pressing against the bar and then push out because that will dull it. How you do it is you insert the scissors, you open them, insert them in, slightly close it to where it's setting against that bar, and then you pull it towards you with the blades touching that bar. Obviously there's only one way of holding this type of sharpener because your blades don't fit in this way, so it's easy enough to tell how you're supposed to hold it. The issue, I have two issues with this type of sharpener. Um, the one issue, the first one is that when you insert your scissors and you pull back towards you, it catches, see? So it's a little rough in sharpening your scissors. I don't care for that. The reason why it does that is first off, my hand is holding this up in the air. Okay, and I'm not, I don't have a foundation to set this on and really keep it smooth. The other reason why it's so jerky like that is because this bar here that sharpens the blades is stationary. And so your scissors are actually pulling a, a, against a bar that has a coating on it that sharpens your scissors and it can be a little rough. And so it's just not smooth on your scissors. It works good if you're a beginner sewer and you know you're you're on a limited budget. It works fine. It's the one to use, and I used it for many years. So I, uh, you know, I'm not saying it's a bad sharpener. It's just when you start putting money into some good pair of scissors, you don't want to sharpen them with a cheapy sharpener. You want to work your way up and get a nicer sharpener. So this is the Fiskars uh, tabletop scissor sharpener. I am totally in love with this product. This black section is like totally hollow. Really the only thing that is necessary is this right here. But this black thing has a purpose in that it keeps this part stationary. So it is important it is important and you have something nice to hang on to and grip while uh, you're setting this on the tabletop and it really keeps it stationary and more secure. The other thing that's cool about this sharpener is there are two bars in there and I can actually take this apart and I have before because I wanted to see what it what those bars look like but um, I wouldn't recommend for you to do it necessarily just because it may be difficult to get all this back together because those bars just sit in, they just sit in there, they're, they're not uh, attached. So it may be difficult to line them all back up again. But what it is, is two bars in there instead of one. They are not coated. They actually have ridges in them and the bars are loose. Let me put it back together and they move when you're sharpening your scissors. So here's your scissors, you open them up, stick them in, gently uh, close the scissors to where they're pressing against the two bars, and you pull back. Did you see how much smoother that was? 
and you can actually hear the bars moving. Those are the bars turning because they have those little uh, ridges in them and when you uh, pull the scissors through those bars are turning and they're sharpening your scissors in a much more smooth way than the other sh scissor sharpener I showed you. If you keep up with uh, sharpening your scissors you only need to pass it through the sharpener about three times. I had a really extremely dull pair of scissors one time that I had to pass through about ten times so that was pretty bad but usually it's about three times and you have a nice sharp pair of scissors. These are very sharp. These are my favorite scissors. They are Fiskars Amplify Razor Edge Fabric Scissors. They have ones that uh, have a white handle on them that are for uh, just multiple use. But your fabric scissors should stay fabric scissors only. And what that means is you don't want to cut uh, paper or uh, any other item, you know, whatever, uh, plastic, whatever, um, with your fabric scissors. Never cut paper or anything else with your fabric scissors. Only cut fabric. So that's very important. And if you do that and you, you keep the uh, scissors cleaned and um, sharpened, they're going to last you a long time. So, you know, there is a certain amount of care and upkeep for your scissors and if you invest in an expensive pair of scissors and a nice scissor sharpener and you take care of those scissors they're gonna last you forever really honestly they are and you're never gonna want to go back to the cheapy scissors ever again honestly so I hope this video helped you and uh, you please subscribe to our YouTube channel we will be bringing out videos weekly uh, we have a lot of sew-alongs, and we also have sewing tutorials, how to begin to sew, and also recommended products like how this one is. So thank you everyone for watching this video. I hope it helped you, and you all have yourself a wonderful day. Bye for now.